look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to tell you today What I'm going to talk about today In this educational video In this educational video I'm going to show you a clip that's kind of old, but I never covered it before. But for many of you, you've never seen it before. It's going to be about a woman who catches her mother, her mother, birth mother, in bed with her baby daddy, her son-in-law. Half, I was going to say Bucking, you know what I'm going to say, Nick. Bucking, B-U-C-K-I-N. Now, I want you to see that. Now, this is not a, a, a skit. It's not a skit because after I play this scene that the daughter recorded the mother doing that with the um, baby daddy and put it on Facebook Live. But then the mother comes back after this on the other clip that you're going to see and she's going to try to justify what she did and she's going to be crying all over the place. So this is not a skit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. These clips are being used out of fair use. Give me a moment while I pull it up on the screen for you. Got to make it real large. I want you to see this scandalous stuff right here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. No, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, I'm going to put it on Facebook. I want everybody to see the two is right here. What they doing in my bed. My bed. The mama is pretty much naked. She put on a little robe, but there's nothing underneath that silk robe. The man laying back there chilling like, <laughs> you know, just laying there. He pretty much half naked in his drawers in bed. Now, you know, ladies and gentlemen, there is absolutely no excuse why this should be happening. There's no excuse, no lie that you can tell that would make a person understand that this was not ill intentions involved, that there was no ill intentions, that this woman was not trying to do something behind her own blood, her own daughter's back. Now, you're going to see a whole lot of gaslighting in this video, but let's keep playing this. I don't care who you are. Obviously, you don't care that I'm your daughter, right? You over here sleeping with my baby daddy. This my Baby daddy. You don't clean. Because I be at work. I be at work. She told her daughter why she lays next to her son-in-law, to her baby daddy, that when she questioned mama, said, Mom, why are you in bed with my baby daddy? And the mama said, You don't cook, you don't clean. But let me show you get this ring. Now she said, You don't cook, you don't clean. And things like that. You know what that means? That is a very good indication of a mother competing with her daughter. These older hags love to compete with their daughters because they can't i got a video coming up on that too about how these women cannot stand being number two you gave birth to a child and she's younger than you she's supposed to because you're the mother she got a nice shape she's supposed to because she's younger than you and you're sleeping with her men this ain't nothing unusual i've seen things like this before in real life seriously be at work you don't i be at work like, you don't treat him right. What you expect him to do? You got a whole man. You talk about, I don't treat you right? Oh, girl, come on now. This is what you do? <coughs> See how she talks to her daughter. Her daughter, she talks to her daughter like, come on, girl. See, man, I made a video talking about how mothers, how parents are too friendly with their children. There was a time where a mother would never even sound like that. Oh, girl, go on about your business. You sound like you're... You are her best friend. You're not supposed to be your child's best friend, you fool. You're supposed to be the parent. Now, let me put up the um the clips I need you to see. One second, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to see her gaslight, y'all. Let's get it started. Right here, do right fine. Okay, guys. I didn't want to have to do this. But I'm really getting tired of people labeling me, telling me I'm an unfit mom that I shouldn't have been in the bed with my daughter's baby daddy. Um, you see all them tears coming out of eyeballs? Let me tell you something. There is nothing wetter than the tears of a lying bitch, of a conniving hoe, a trifling ass woman. This mustard back heifer was trying to get some, some pipe from her own daughter's man. You know that's wrong. I want you to hear all the gaslighting, all the lies, all the excuses she's going to give you about why she was caught in bed with her daughter's man. That I slept with him. I'm really getting tired of 
you know, people in my inbox, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, under my video saying nasty, mean things when you guys really don't know the full story. So, like I said, I didn't want to have to do this, but I think it's about time you guys hear my side of the story. Was it me and the video? Yes, apparently. My hair is the same, my nails is the same color. Okay, so let's just make that clear. Did I sleep with my daughter's baby daddy? No. What you guys need to understand is that that night my daughter did go to work. I was tending to my granddaughter and what you guys do not understand is my granddaughter will not go to sleep unless she's in her mother's bed. So I lay down with my granddaughter once she went to sleep. I picked her up and I put her in her room and put her in the bed. And sometimes All right, that's where she first fucked up with the lie, right? I want you to pay attention to what she said now. Listen to what she said. She said that her granddaughter does not go to sleep unless she is in her mother's bed. And then she backdoes and say that the granddaughter went to sleep, but then she picked her up and took her to the mother's bed. So which one is it? You already starting out lying. If if you if that now what the what kind of child? A baby, a child sleep any goddamn way. You can throw a child on a goddamn roof or inside a tree house and the mother can go to sleep if it's sleepy, right? Now she's saying it won't sleep unless it's in the mother's bed says that it went to sleep but then she had to carry it to the mother's bed what come on man time during that time when i was you know putting her in the bed i'm assuming that's when the baby daddy came in the room and got in the bed when i went back in the room um i laid down because i was tired it's a pretty big bed I didn't realize anybody was laying in the bed. Next. A grown ass woman, probably in the 50s and 60s, do not realize that there's a whole grown man in the bed with her. You saw the bed in the first clip. The bed looked like a queen size bed. And a queen size bed, it's not that big and not that small, but you know damn well if somebody else is in that bed with you. You get what I'm saying? And then you have a baby in the bed with you? Now, come on, man. She is still trying to make the world think that. Hey, you got the wrong idea about me. No, you are a lying, trifling hoe. Okay, that's what that is. You slutty. There's no... Would your mama be caught... Ladies, would your mama be caught with your baby daddy in bed? Some things are, just don't happen. She knew that it was wrong. So this woman was trying to sleep with this woman's man in the bed that her, her daughter sleep in. That's how foul she is. That's how dirty and low down this heifer is. She was trying to get it banged up. She was trying to get it beat all the way in in the same bed that her and her baby daddy shared. <laughs> oh man, it's some slutty shit. Next to me, it's pretty dark and everything. And I... <laughs> Back it up. She didn't know it was in there because it was dark. <laughs> Next to me, it's pretty dark and everything. <laughs> And I felt an arm around me. And so I got up in shock and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And he was like, well, I thought <laughs> you was my girl. And I'm like, no, uh, what are you doing in here? Uh Lying motherfucker, look. She's trying to make it seem like it's the man's fault. And she's going to ask the man, what are you doing in here? But that's the same room that he and his woman sleep in. He's supposed to be in that room. And it ain't that damn dark in there. So now it's too dark for you to see a man in there. And then you didn't know he was in there because the bed was too big for you. Come on, man. Um, And he's like, well, you know, um, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was you, you know, Miss Sharon. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. And I'm like, well, um, can it wait? Like, um, is it really that important? And he's like, um, yeah, like, I really need to talk. Now, it's going to get better now. I'm going to give you some more of this BS that she's giving. You know, I think y'all can tell that this woman is lying, right? I think y'all can tell, man. You see how she was dressed inside of the bed, but she pretty much naked in a, uh, what, like a satin lace type of robe. 
And then when the daughter comes in to confront her about it, she start, you know, deflecting and gaslighting and start blaming her for the reason why she's sleeping with her baby daddy, talking about you don't cook for him, you don't clean for him. We know what this is, man. I done been in a relationship and dealt with women where their mama tried to sleep with me too. This is nothing new. I know what this is, man. This is a line. She got caught and that man was trying to beat it up. That man did beat it up and that man want to beat it up now as you watch this video. So I'm like, fine. If you really need to talk, I need you to get up and put on some clothes and then we can talk about it. As I was in the process of telling him this, that's when my daughter came in the room. Um, I'm assuming she must have heard us talking or whatever. She walks in. She heard you moaning. That's what she heard. And she sees us in the bed. Of course, she's thinking the words like, you guys are sleeping together. Like, mom, how dare you do me like this? How could you? You know, um, and of course she's in a fit of rage. I mean, she had every right. Uh, were we wrong for being in the bed together? Yes. But you guys need to understand that I let him know that he needed to get up and he needed to put on some clothes if he wanted to talk to me because I felt it was inappropriate. So timing is everything and unfortunately my daughter walked in on us on us and spazzed the fuck out which she had every right to so um me and my daughter are not talking uh we haven't talked since this whole incident um i haven't been there um i just want to be able to like i said um you know have my daughter understand what really happened she hasn't even given me a chance to even explain anything she just shut down and she wants nothing to do with me or him so um i don't know what else to do guys um maybe you know if someone's listening contact maury jerry springer or somebody because i would really love to you know for my daughter to understand what really happened and to know that her mom would never do anything like that. I love my daughter and, um, you know, I miss her and I want to be able to have a relationship with her and be able to be in my granddaughter's life. So, um, that's it guys. Um, you know, um, there's nothing more I can say. So, before you guys jump to conclusions, you know, be willing to hear the other side of the story because there's always three sides. The truth, his side, her side, and that's it. So. She couldn't even think of the rest of shit, dumbass. Um, so grandma was trying to bust it open. Grandma was laying there with her Brazilian wax and everything. She just came back from the place, ready to get that man to rub on a cooter. Old school term, cuda. Yeah, so she was trying to get that cuda up. I don't give a damn what she said. Yeah, she can go. No, you can get a lot of ticket tests without going on more if you really wanted to. If that's what the thing is. This woman up there just hashing out that coochie, just throwing it around, giving it up freely, like gravy on rice. You were trying to be on top of that man. That's all it is. All it was. Anyway, be careful. There's a lot of hoes out here. Y'all take it easy now, yeah. Ha, ha, ha.